As the 2019 FEI Awards Gala presented by Longines continued, Cavalor's founder and managing director, Peter Bollen, came to the stage to present the Cavalor FEI Best Groom Award. The four individuals nominated in this category were Tim Varlick, groom for para dressage rider Tamsin Addison, Madalena Brooke, right hand woman to show jumper Mark Hutzaga, groom to eventer Lieutenant Colonel Theobald Vallette, Jan Devan, and Anne Christian de Boer, groom to dressage rider Helen Langer Hannenberg. Peter, will you please reveal the winner of this year's Cavalier FEI Best Groom Award? The winner of the Cavalier FEI Best Groom Award is Madeleine Brook. The award is given each year to recognize those individuals who work behind the scenes, providing the best possible care for their equine athletes. Madeleine, this is, uh, for my opinion, the best groom in the world. And uh, for sure there are many uh, good grooms, but uh, for me she's the best and uh, that's why she's a long time already working for me. That's good to, to see also uh, uh, the, the grooms in the picture and not only the rider and the horse. I think that's really important and we cannot go to the show with, with, without a groom, that's impossible. I really like to work with horses because, um, yeah, you just get so much back from them. Yeah, I think in the morning when you come back, it's so lovely to get back in the stable and they are so honest and they, do, they try to do everything for you. Yeah, you know each other so good and, and, and you don't have to say so many words to uh, do things. She's working really hard seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day, I can say almost, if it's necessary. For me, it's really easy to work then together because you know when you only blink with the eye or something like that, you know actually what he wants. And that's, I think it's really easy that you don't need so many conversations to know what we want from each other. It's not really a job, but it's a way of living. And you get so much back from the horses, so that's why it will never be a boring day or a boring week. Winning the Cavalier FEI Best Grooms Award means a lot to me, because you feel really appreciated for everything what you do. And it's a lot of work what you do, so I feel really appreciated. I would like to thank everybody who voted for me. And a special thank to for Mark and Julia because they are like the main people behind this and the sponsors of course. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really looking forward to go to the ceremony in Moscow. I never wear a dress, so that will be like the first time in my life when I wear a dress. So everybody <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Cavalier FEI Best Groom winner, Madeline Brook and Peter Bolin. It really means a lot. It's like a crown of, of our work, what we are doing, because everything is always behind the scene, so nobody actually never sees us. So now they see it. It's good. <laughs> We've been working for 30 years in uh, equine nutrition and I think the grooms are also the people who take care of the horses. They work often 24 hours a day, 7-7, seven, seven, and for this it means really a lot to cover on. Russian Equestrian Federation President Marina Sashina presented the penultimate accolade of the night, the FEI Solidarity Award. The shortlisted nominees were the Jack Dodd Foundation in Ireland, the Wheatland Farm Equestrian Centre, Great Britain's The Urban Equestrian Academy, the DSA LEAD programme, and Uno X Clinton and the Farriers Training programme in Zambia. The winner of the FEI Solidarity Award is Uno X Clinton. The FEI Solidarity Award recognises equestrian projects, an individual or organisation that have helped to develop the sport and provide new opportunities for the equine community.
My name is Unix Clinton and I'm the educational leader of the first farrier education project in Zambia. The, the project is all about to actually create and, and educate local farriers in Zambia uh, because they don't have any, anything like that and it's very important for the welfare of the horse. A lot of horses were in problem with pain in their feet and here we can get locally guys actually doing and training to be farriers. A lot of the guys are not really used to tools, so we have to do tool management and also the horses and the understanding of the built up of a leg and a foot of a horse and therefore you have to do it practically to see that we don't damage the horses but rather help them. There's a lot of problems getting tools and equipment into Zambia because it's not a country that's along the shoreline. So, so, and it's very expensive to get things there. So we, every time we travel there, we bring our own tools and everything that comes to Africa stays in Africa. There is a socio-economic situation also here because these guys are quite poorly paid and they are grooms today and they are working. So just chewing a little bit will make a huge difference for their lives. They can really earn a lot more money and therefore change their lives into something better. When we started this journey, we had 44 students that wanted to be farrier. And during the, the, the courses, we have, of course, taken the ones that are not suited to be a farrier away. So now we are down to 13 farriers that will be examined in, in Zambia and to be able to create the first Zambian Farrier Association. My passion for this work is how people actually can learn how to do the best for the horse, because a farrier works not just for the shoeing, but the farrier works with the whole equipage, the rider, the trainer, the veterinarian. You have to burn for the, for the occupation if you do that. And most farriers that have been doing it for 30 years do that. Winning the FEE Solidarity Award 2019 is, is of course something big. It's huge and humble and I'm so happy that we actually got this prize because it's, it's uh, yeah, it's make it makes a difference in Zambia for many people, so I'm so happy. Ladies and gentlemen, the FBI Solidarity winner, Uno X Clinton. We usually don't wear these kind of clothes. We are usually muddy, it's cold, it's windy. So being in, a, in an area like this is, is different, but of course, happy for everyone. Happy for the farriers in Zambia, farriers to be, and the horses. That's what I am, just happy. The final award of the evening was the greatly anticipated Peden Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete, which was presented by Managing Director of Peden Bloodstock, Martin Atok. The nominees for this prize were show jumper Steve Godat and his Swiss compatriot Martin Fuchs, eventer Ingrid Klimke, Dutch driver Bram Chardon, and para dress size rider Sanna Wurz. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Peden Bloodstock FEI Best, Best Athlete Award is Ingrid Klimke. The accolade recognizes an athlete who has demonstrated exceptional skill and talent whilst inspiring others and taking the sport to a new level. This year was really fantastic. I'm so proud about my horses. Not only the young ones did a wonderful job, especially SAP Hale Bob OLD was so brilliant at the European Championship and that he has done it twice, that really makes me very proud of him. I felt an extra challenge because I said to myself, now it's my duty to show the rest of the world that Bobby is the best horse and what quality he has. And so I tried to guide him around and, and the dressage, he was so precise, so listening, so supple and so, so expressive. In the cross country it was pure fun because I felt like a passenger and especially in the show jumping, he jumped already so good outside and felt fresh and was a little bit bucking, shaking his head, so I knew that he would really go for it. And he was not touching one fence, and till the last fence, not like last year in trying, he paid attention, and so I think he really deserved it. 
It meant to me that the team was winning, because two years ago in Stregom we wanted to win, but we couldn't. So um, just the year before Tokyo, to have the gold medal again gives us for the whole nation, for the whole German eventing, a very good um, time or a very good backup. I'm really proud after Isabel and after Simone Blum, now that I'm winning three women <laughs> from Germany in three different disciplines, I think that really can make the whole um, eventing nation or riding nation very proud. I'm very proud of it to be here, to win the Peden Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete makes me really feel very proud. It gives me a really good feeling to know that I have so many supporters. My family is my friends. It's a whole group and the team who makes this all happen. That I'm now here is one thing, but I give it to everybody who supports me and to all the fans who voted for me. Let's keep going like this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Peden and Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete winner, Ingrid Klimke. I'm really thrilled and proud. It really um, let me look back and be very thankful to everybody who supported me so much because I'm standing here alone, but behind me are my family, my team, my sponsors, a huge group of supporters. Without them, I wouldn't be here, and that really makes me very, very uh, fortunate and thankful. As FEI President Ingmar Devos closed the ceremony, it was time for the party to begin in Moscow. The night was another huge success, wrapping up a rewarding week-long General Assembly and highlighting what has been yet another incredible 12 months of equestrian sport. We now look forward to next year's gala, which will be held in Johannesburg, South Africa. In Equestrian World's last show of 2019, we will be looking back at some of the top sporting moments from the year. But until then, from all the team, it's goodbye. <laughs>